Hello everyone, good morning. So today we will start our new chapter that is chapter 9 parallel lines. All right. So before starting off the exercises part, let us quickly understand what are the concepts which are being required to solve this particular exercise. All right. I guess four to five topics are there. After that, you are eligible to solve the exercise part. So without wasting any further time, let's start. All right. So let us start by a quick warm up. Parallel lines means what? The line is th these are the two lines. Okay. So now parallel lines means the gap between two lines it should be completely same the gap between two lines let's see if you just measure the distance between these two points or you can say from this one from this the gap if you just compare the gap this gap is exact exactly same if you compare from this point to this point all right so that means at each and every point of the lines the gap is completely same and th these type of lines are called as parallel lines all right done after that now what do you think these two lines are parallel these two lines are parallel or not what do you think that it is not parallel because the gap is not same at each and every points fine after that we will move on to our next concept now when these parallel lines are there and if a one third line which is just intersecting the these two lines at any point let's say this point and this point then there is a there is this there is one special name which is associated for this particular line now the thing is that before that we have to understand that the line should be parallel if the lines is not parallel then we cannot say that we cannot uh, put that term to assign this particular line so first of all let's just see what is the special name that is being associated for this particular line so now this line is nothing but called as transversal this line is nothing but called as transversal all right this word that is transversal will only happen when the lines are parallel and this line should intersect the parallel lines at two different points that's it that's about but transversal line and that's about parallel line so let's just move on to understand what exactly the four to five topics are which are actually being required while solving the questions okay so first of all let me just draw the previous scenario that is parallel lines are there and now this is the transversal so now if you just see if you just see that there are four angles which are being formed first second third fourth five six seven eight let me just give the name one two three four five six seven and eight all right all right now now let me just disclose one by one what are the topics which are being required the first one is linear pair first one is linear pair I think you got it in the previous uh, chapter also but for the summarization part I'm just talking about that linear pair means what a line is there a line is there and one another line that is actually intersecting the given line into a point and there are two gaps which are being created now these two angles are actually making how much degree 180 degree so now here in this figure this one and this one these two are making 180 degree that is angle 1 plus angle 2 equal to 180 degree similarly like angle 2 plus angle 3 is also making 180 degree similarly angle 1 plus angle 4 is also making 180 degree if you just see this as a line then 2 plus 3 that will give us 180 degree likewise 1 plus 4 it is also giving 180 degree like that way 3 plus 4 is also giving us 180 degree and likewise all the given points uh, means pairs are there for instance the last pair should be 8 plus 7 which is also giving us 180 degree and that's about linear pair i hope you got it what is actually about linear pair let's just move on to our next concept which is called as corresponding angle which is called as corresponding angle so now corresponding angles 
are those angles first of all it is the requirement now previously in linear pair there is no such requirement of parallel lines all all right that means if you have one given line and another line is which is intersecting the this given line into a point then linear pair will come up right the concept of linear pair, pair is absolutely verified or you can say absolutely applicable but in the case of corresponding angles we need two lines and these two lines should be parallel so that means this the given condition should be something like that if something is looking like this thing then we can say that corresponding angles are being applicable is it clear that means when these two lines are there it should be a parallel line if these are not parallel line then we cannot assign the formula of corresponding angle or you can say the concept of corresponding angle now coming back to the topic what exactly corresponding angle mean corresponding angle means what now i'm just marking up this angle this this angle and this angle it should be equal that is actually called as corresponding angle corresponding angle means the angle which is above the line the angles which are above the line if you just compare it right on the same side on the same side now see this is on the same side same side means what because of this line the two different portions are being created the first portion is this left portion and this one is right portion all right so now in 2 and 6 these are coming up in a same portion not opposite portion like 2 and 5 it is not something like that okay so that means 2 and 6 are coming up same portion and likewise it should be above the above angle so that means 2 and 6 are the above angles so that means here angle 2 is equal to angle 6 and this is called as corresponding angles angle 2 equal to angle 6 i hope you got it that is something called as corresponding angles moving on so now here can you find out the rest corresponding angles rest corresponding angles yes easily we can find out first of all one and five same side that is right hand side above the angles all right the criteria should be absolutely same the criteria should be absolutely same comma angle one equal to angle five i hope you got it after that now coming up same side same portion below the angles same portion below the angles. so now same portion below the angles means which angles i'm talking about three and eight right likewise four and seven i hope you got it i hope you got it yes absolutely because three and eight are coming up three equal to eight is actually coming up in the same side moreover four and seven are also coming up in the same side with the below side so that means four and seven which are also corresponding angles i hope you got it right I hope you got it moving on to our next concept that is called as alternate interior angle alternate interior angle all right scenario is same moving on to our next concept that is called as alternate interior alternate interior oblique exterior angle alternate interior oblique exterior angle that is the next concept all right so now how to find that alternate interior and exterior so first of all if you if you uh, observe the word that is interior and exterior so now in these uh, like eight angles in this group of eight angles which are the angles which are coming up in the interior way in the interior portion which angles first of all three four five six these are the angles which are coming up in the interior portion and one two seven eight are coming up in the exterior portion now interior and exterior how to find that in between these two lines the angles which are there that are called as interior angles and in between the lines which are not there that are called as exterior simple and easy so now a alternate interior means three and five these opposite angles it should be equal it is equal three and five it is equal so that is called as alternate interior angle alternate interior means interior angles as well as the crosswise angles so that means that means how to write it angle 3 is equal to angle 5 and moreover angle 4 equal to angle 6 because the next portion is 4 and 6 i hope you got it i hope you got it that is that is what that is called as alternate interior angle alternate interior angle okay okay 
moving on to our next one that is alternate exterior so now how to find that alternate exterior one one and seven outer 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 angle outer angle and crosswise that is not coming up in the same side that is called as alternate exterior alternate exterior so that means angle one equal to angle seven and moreover two equal to eight which is left over that are called as alternate exterior angle alternate exterior angle okay i hope you got it i hope you got it that is about alternate interior alternate exterior and last but not the least that is called as co-interior angle and that's about it the last concept that is called as co-interior angle question fourth that is called as co-interior angle co-interior angle so co-interior angle means what the angles which are in the interior portion the angles which are in the interior portion of same side so that means that means 3 and 6 3 and 6 now here in this case here in this case 3 and 6 are not equal actually they are actually making angle 3 plus angle 6 they are actually making 180 degree they are actually making 180 degree likewise 4 4 plus 5 they are also making 180 degree most importantly you just write all such things because but by just looking at it you could not get anything write it down with me and actually you can able to understand just observe it carefully that what actually i'm going to teach or you can say i'm going to make you understand okay so after that after that that's about it co uh, interior angle that is three plus six which is which gives us 180 degree likewise angle four plus angle five that is equal to 180 degree and it is nothing but called as co interior angle i hope you got it and now you are eligible to solve the exercise that is exercise nine let's just do that all right so let's just start our journey by looking at question number one state the property used in each of the following to make the statement true now now all the property that i have discussed with you just now this property will only be valid if the lines are parallel most important thing that you have to remember if the lines is if the lines are not parallel this property is not at all applicable all right so now in question number one what is given if l now this is the sign of parallel okay if l parallel to m if l parallel to m then angle 3 equal to angle 7 so now angle 3 equal to angle 7 is what type of property just look at carefully just look this picture carefully you can get it okay earlier what i have discussed with you that the portions are being divided on right portion left portion if the same if the angles are coming up in the same portion then only two possibilities are there the first one is co interior angle on the second one is corresponding angle co interior angle means what interior way the angle should be under the interior portion so now here 3 and 7 3 is coming under in the interior portion but 7 is not in the interior portion it is coming up in the exterior portion then only one thing which is being remain that is called as co corresponding angle why because same portion that is right portion and moreover 3 and 7 3 and 7 means what below below the portions if you just observe it 1 and 2 are above and 4 and 3 are below like that way 8 and 7 are below so that means 3 and 7 are in the below portion and moreover having on the same side so that means 3 and 7 that is equal and moreover it is equal for which property for which property corresponding angle i hope you got it all right corresponding angle is the first answer moving on to our next question that is that is question number two question number two is saying that if angle three equal to angle five so now if angle three equal to angle five angle three equal to angle five means what this one and this one okay so now if three equal to five then l parallel to m three equal to five means what now look at this careful carefully three and five are coming up in a in which portion interior portion with crosswise crosswise that actually signifies us for which property alternate interior alternate interior means what interior angles along with crosswise all right so that means three and five 
are of different portion right and left mixture of right and left and moreover they are coming up in the in interior portion they are actually denoting these angles in a interior portion so that means the answer is alternate interior angle that's about it alternate interior angle more i hope you got it moving on to our next question that is question number three angle three plus angle six equal to 180 degree angle three plus angle six interior portion same side having plus co-interior angle co-interior angle all right likewise if you just observe the property then you can crack it very easily all right that's why i told you for several times and as well as i will con keep continuing this uh, this statement that focus on the board as well as focus on my words all right moving on to our next question that is question number three all right so let's just move on to our next question that is question number three question number three saying in figure three ab parallel to cd stop ef intersects at them at p and q respectively if angle one equal to this find all other angles simple and easy so now how to do this how to proceed now the given solution is if you just observe it the solution which is being given that is angle one equal to 130 degree which is given so here angle one equal to 130 degree and we have to find all other angles simple and easy how to do that so now angle one that is equal to angle three angle one that is equal to angle three how that is called as vertically opposite angle vertically opposite angle vertically opposite angle so now angle three is also angle three is also how much 130 degree okay after that angle one is equal to angle five also angle one equal to angle five also that is corresponding angle corresponding angle corresponding angle so that means so that means what angle five is also 130 degree all right so that means i got the two values so that means uh, angle three and angle five it is now covered after that moving on so now angle one angle one plus angle two that is equal to 180 degree so now angle two is equal to how much 180 degree minus angle one so this is coming up under linear pair this is coming up under linear pair how to do that angle one plus angle two it becomes 180 degree because coming up under linear pair okay togetherly they are forming linear pair just now i have discussed with you so now angle two equal to how much because the angle one value is 180 degree so 180 degree minus 130 degree it is nothing but 50 degree okay done so coming back angle two equal to angle four angle two equal to angle four because why vertically opposite angle vertically opposite angle vertically opposite angle and because of this angle 2 is equal to 50 degree as well so angle 2 is done okay angle 4 is done sorry angle 4 is also done so now i have figured out 1 5 4 2 3 moving on question uh, that is angle 5 that is also equal to angle 7 same process angle 5 equal to angle 7 that is vertically opposite angle vertically opposite angle angle 5 vertically opposite angle i hope you know vertically opposite angle means what vertically opposite angle means the angle if this is the situation if this is the situation then this angle is opposite to this angle these two angles are opposite with each other having the same value this is called as vertically opposite angle okay moving on angle 5 and angle 7 are same so that is equal to 130 degree which is equal to angle 7 like that way angle 5 plus angle 6 angle 5 plus angle 6 that is equal to 180 degree linear pair linear pair okay so angle 6 equal to how much 180 degree minus angle 5 the value of angle 5 is 130 degree so it is again 50 degree and like that way angle therefore angle 8 equal to angle 6 vertically opposite angle vertically opposite angle angle 8 and angle 6 both are vertically opposite angle so that means that is also equal to therefore angle 8 is also equal to 50 degrees so if you just observe it carefully if you just observe it carefully then angle 1 
equal to 130 degree angle 2 equal to 50 degree angle 3 equal to 130 degree angle 4 equal to 50 degree angle 5 equal to 130 degree angle 6 equal to 50 degree angle 7 equal to 130 degree and angle 8 equal to 50 degree and that's about it that's about it i hope you got it how to do it let me just summarize once again because this is the last question of today's session how to do it first of all only one value is being given so first of all we have done that angle one equal to angle three why because that is coming under vertically opposite angle that's it right angle one and angle three both are same vertically opposite angle and like that way angle one plus angle two is nothing but that is equal to 180 degree and which is coming under which is coming under linear pair I like that way only two process that have that i have followed not only two three so the first one is a vertically opposite angle the second one is the linear pair and the third one is corresponding angle only one time corresponding angle that is angle one and angle five angle one and angle five both are corresponding angle because having the same side same portion same portion above angle same portion above angle and because of that this is coming under Verti uh, sorry corresponding angle and like that way you have solved this question i hope you got it this is very easy and we will just continue with that in our next coming video okay that's about it if you found any sort of doubt make sure you do ask me directly no need to hesitate of asking all right that's about it i will see you soon with one new video thank you and have a nice day